Hello everyone and welcome back to the Barrow Motors channel and welcome back to the Car of the Week series. This is car number four, that means we've been doing this for a whole month now. And this week's car is this very nice black 2017 Volvo V40, the R Design Pro. I have to say I'm a big fan of Volvo R Design cars and this one's no different. They've got an aggressive but classy styling to them that's understated and just doesn't look out of place on any driveway. Volvo's got a reputation for being the safe, reliable, and durable, if a little bit bland, vehicle car manufacturer. But with their R design, I think they spice things up just enough to make them really interesting for the owner. In many ways, if you get in a Volvo from the last 15 years, they all feel very familiar, even if they have updated everything. So a lot of the steering wheel design, the buttons and everything feels similar. The fact that they have this kind of hands through center console section is all very reminiscent going back to the V50s and further. The way the infotainment system is kind of quite recessed in the dashboard, the way you've got a kind of rectangular key, all feels pretty nostalgic and traditional of Volvo, but they do seem to update everything to make it feel bang up to date and not old hat as well. So I really like their LCD display for the instrument cluster. They've got a great big tachograph in the middle, circular LCD screen, and then onto the sides of that, they've got these two other ones. I imagine it's probably one screen separated by the dials, but it does all look very impressive to be honest. Feeling modern and fresh, despite the fact that it still has a full set of telephone numbers on the center console here which wouldn't have looked out of place on a 1990s car. This particular car has the two litre diesel engine, 118 brake horsepower, so it's not gonna break any land speed records, I think not to 60. It takes about 10 and a half seconds, but it will be incredibly economical and it's actually really cheap to tax. It's just 20 pounds per year. There's not very many two litre diesels these days, now that the prices have all gone up on tax, but it still falls into that bracket. And it doesn't feel like it's a complete slouch either. It's got just enough get up and go to make you feel comfortable and happy that you've got the power you need to overtake and to get you out of trouble. This car does feel like quite a nice mix of old and new. Now, while it does have a digital climate control built into the infotainment screen, you've still just got these very analog dials. So if you know you want to turn the heat up because it's freezing cold, it's very easy to do. You don't have to go through menus and sub menus to get to it. It is right there with the manual controls, which I think a lot of us prefer than having to go through a touchscreen system and find the exact menu you want, which also probably isn't the safest thing to be doing while you're driving either. So in summary, I think this car is a very practical, stylish, reliable, and very safe car that will tick a lot of the boxes people are looking for when it comes to a car for a lot of different types of people. On top of that, the insurance group is 18E, making it not high at all. It's got to be a great choice for a lot of people, and it's quite nice to have something Swedish, a bit different than all your Fords and Vauxhalls out there. I guess some of the underpinnings of this are Ford, including the automatic gearbox, which I have to say does work very well, is incredibly smooth, and nothing but good things to say about it, really. So that is it for this week. I hope the video is half as good as our usual standards. Toby, our editor, is off this week, so it'll be me editing it. I will do my best, reassured that usually they are much better than this. And on that note, please do subscribe to the channel because these will be coming out weekly. And if you found it interesting or useful, give it a like as well, it really help out. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week.